Hey guys, DB Smiley here. We're talking Quartermaster Bolo, except now from a Merc Healer perspective. So this fight is actually different for healers than tanks, enough so that I wanted to make a separate video. Uh, this is with my second raid team, Cherry Poppers, part of the Drunk Tanks Guild. Fantastic guild on the Shadowlands server that is recruiting and is always building teams. So... Uh, with healing, the big thing you need to worry about is actually not huge output. You'll see at the end of this fight, we're actually sub-7,000 in effective healing output. And we could have been a bit more efficient with our healing. The thing isn't the overall healing you need to worry about. It's the spike healing. So you're going to see that when someone goes low on health, they go really low on health really quick. And your job is to keep people as high up as they can because when they take a spike if they're low health they'll die so we try to keep healers in the middle with range dps to the outside now here you can see this is the video i'm talking about where it shows how healers and dps want to line their blue circles you can see i'm keeping them nice and tight the circles Basically, I'm dropping one a half radius away from the last. A thing to remember with the blue circles is the first circle will only start doing damage right before the third circle drops. So you can kind of stack them, but you don't want to stack them completely up because you won't be able to get out in time before that first does damage. When you're in mass barrage phase, people's number one job is to take as little damage as possible. During Mass Barrage, if you take damage, the healers may not be near you. It's hard for them to get near you. Now here I'm not in great position, but once I get people topped off, I move out of the way. Now you can see we have three blue circles, now two in the center. While this is good for keg running, it makes it hard to run Mass Barrage. The sniper there, Worm, is in an absolutely fantastic position, though, for a sniper. Because when Mass Barrage comes up, he's going to move backwards. So the load lifters are coming in with the pirates. They're actually on the same guy, so we need to keep uh, Buckeye, who was running it there, up, which isn't too bad. Um, now you can see Worm got a little bit close to me, and now I ran out of space. I have to run back through the blue. If you do that, pop a speed boost. I popped Hydraulic Override. Just get the hell out of damage as fast as possible. That was sloppy, but we survived it, mainly due to some spike healing. Now, you can see the two melee got very low there. We just triaged them down. I actually should have used a Colto missile sooner, and I didn't because I kind of froze up a bit. Um, but we survive, and so this is now where we're entering kind of a final burn phase on the boss. There's the last group of pirates that we're actually going to handle with a keg. Uh, and they're going to get handled pretty well. At this point, I'm kind of coaching the team up. This is the part of the fight where people are going to start to tense up. You really want to make sure that people remember that this coming mass barrage phase is a make-or-break moment. You need to make sure that people are not taking damage to mass barrage um, in this next mass barrage phase. It's easy to keep people topped off when mass barrage isn't causing damage. If mass barrage causes damage, you're in a lot of trouble. Um, especially when you're dealing with load lifters and everything. You can see, again, it's not that people are low health a lot of the time, it's just that a simple mistake, like Faden being a little bit too close to Kenzie and thus sharing her, um, sharing her lo load lifter damage caused a lot of problems. Now here I kind of panic and I spread the circles out a bit too much, but that's also because I was trying to get back to the tanks and I, I let a tank die because I was too far away. Um, so it's a mistake, but it's a mistake that we survive and we do get this boss down here. Um, from here, it's pretty much a DPS race. There will be ads that come up at 5%. Your job is to just kill the boss as quick as you can. It's very likely those ads will kill you after the boss is dead, especially if you're having people drop like we do here. But all that matters is you get a kill, you get one in the win column, and you get out of here with a brand new 198 headpiece. So from here, it's just a quick burn. Thanks for watching, guys. This has been a DB Smiley Guide from a Merc Healer perspective. Yes. Good job, guys. And I recorded that. I will get it up on the website.